Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I have a really fun little project to share with you today. This is um, a little nature journal made with Eileen Hall's Passport um, Journal Die by Sizzix and Kaisercraft Anthology, which is one of their new releases. And I just took one look at this collection and had it fell in my shopping cart, what can I say? So I gave myself a play day and created this darling little passport journal. And as you can see, here's my hand. Here's the journal. It's not huge. These are so precious and so much fun to make. They measure um, three and a half by five. So a lovely little size. And you cut the covers from chipboard using Eileen's die. It also cuts the spine and it also actually even cuts the pages. So it's a really fun and easy project to work with. So as you can see, I've layered up, I kind of cut and collaged a bunch of little images from the collection and then created this little nature scene. This is a Wendy Vecchi Art Parts pocket watch that I've treated with various embossing powders and rust paste. I put one of Tim's um, little uh, word stickers inside here. This is lichen that I picked up at a park. This sweet little glass bottle, I'll hold this up. I filled it with um, Spanish moss and three itty bitty um, eggs that I colored with alcohol inks and then a feather. Um, this is a Prima resin butterfly and this is a key that I found in my stash and all of these were either treated with alcohol ink or distress paints. Feathers over here on the side, um, a little canvas mat in the back. This is one of Tim's word bands. This says Exhibit A, and again, treated with rust paste and distress paint. Um, really reasonable ribbon, turquoise um, center stitch, and little birdie flowers. These are the Bernice, um, I think they're called Ocean Mist or Sea Mist. I just, these are so gorgeous. I just love them. So on the spine, I added a whole bunch of little charms from my stash, and I painted all of these with distress paint. Lots of little keys, a little bird, a little bird cage, in keeping with the nature theme. This little tag says wander, a beautiful little swallow, a key that says explore. Here's a look at the back of the album. Um, and you can see here that I bound it. This is um, wax linen thread. It's like book binding thread, so it's really strong. And I bound this a little differently. Um, rather than using the typical where you tie through the center, I actually came through the center, went back up and cr to create this really pretty um, binding here. So let's take a look inside. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is the Graphic 45 um, square tags and clock dies. Um, and I just cut this out of gold and put that there. And I just love the layering. I just, I'm so happy with the way this turned. This was made just for me, just because I felt like it. So inside there are um, three signatures. And a signature is like this little bundle that um, is tied in. And you can see up here how I've knotted in the, um, the twine. And on the front cover, I've created a little slash pocket with stickers from the anthology collection, little keys. This is a leaf I picked up at the park. Here's a fun little um, cork tag that I just decorated up with a little collage and a simple um, burlap string tie. Over here, there's that beautiful clock die again, just paired up with a compass from the... Um, collectibles that come with the collection. Look at these images, just so beautiful. This is a um, embellishment that was given to me by my buddy Jenny Nemchak, and I've been saving it, and this was the place for it. It's just perfect. So I didn't decorate every single page. The, um, the signature pages are decorated, and here I've created a little um, fold out but the inner pages are just cut out of really high quality acid-free um, paper that I aged with um, by creating puddles of ink with vintage photo distress ink and then I just dragged these through it and then I ironed them with my iron on low 
to um, smooth them out. And I love how old they look. So this little fold-out element has a little tuck spot and a little tag. This is one of Tim's ideology pieces. Um, I get a lot of my Tim hauls at the Funky Junkie Boutique, and I'll put that link below. Just a sweet little tag that I made using scraps, room on the back for a photo. And then this is one of Tim's glassine bags, and I turned this into another flap element. So you can still put things inside the pocket. It creates kind of a secret um, tuck spot, which is always fun. Um, and then over here, just another little... Um, cut out piece from the wonderful collage paper that comes with this collection. This is another piece cut out from that collage. Our best memories are meant to be um, remembered and cherished. And then all of these beautiful blank pages. So you can add sketches in here. You can add photos. You can use this as a journal. You can write good thoughts, whatever you want to do with this. I just, I didn't want every page to be decorated. And here's a look at how I bound this. So I'll just show you. I took a large darning needle, went through the holes, which are actually um, die cut in by the Passport Journal die. So I went out, then down, then came back up through on each side and then tied the knots here and left it hanging so that I could add, let's see if I can grab this and show you, so I could add a charm on the outside. So that's how that works. And I decorated just the beginning and the ending pages of each signature. Here's another little envelope, a little tuck spot. Um, and then this is the end of the signature with another little flap and pocket page. And then this is the beginning of the next. And over here I've used an ocular, um, which I just love. And I just pulled stuff. These are so fun to make because you can just pull stuff from your stash and put it together. Um, just creating these little collages. Feathers. This is a leaf that my friend um, Sarah Emily from Sarah's Closet. If you don't follow her blog, you should. It's amazing. And just layering everything up to keep with that nature theme. And then here I've created a little pocket. And actually that's just a belly band, sorry. And then just a fussy cut image from the paper. This is actually um, this quote Kaiser Craft always puts quotes on their branding strips. So I just cut this up and layered it here with this little collectibles piece and this little cut apart. And then the rest of these are just all those wonderful aged stained papers until you get here to the end of the signature where I've used another um, branding strip to add this quote by Thoreau and created a little flap and pocket mechanism. So if you're into making junk journals, these are all great ideas that you can use. And envelopes are a natural because you just glue the flap. It's so easy. And here's the end of that signature with just a little tuck spot on the side. And then I created this little vignette using, um, I don't even know where I got this great medallion. It's just been in my stash forever. But I hit it with, um, Evergreen bow, no pine needles. This is all pine needles distress paint. Here's some more of those sweet little birds. I made a little nest with Spanish moss and just created a little collage inside this medallion. A sweet little um, charm. I do know I got this at the Funky Junkie Boutique. Um, just I wanted everything to feel really organic and natural. Then here's another little flap page with um, a little pocket inside and a little tag and I just, um, I used a die, a gift card die to create this little pocket. Room over here for a photo. And then on some of the pages I kind of shadow stamped with a script stamp that I've had in my stash forever. I don't even, I think I picked it up at Michael's. Um, there is a little pocket element in this one that I just tucked another, um, cut apart from the collection in here, but you could stick whatever you wanted in that pocket. And then this is the end of that signature with this beautiful decorated paper. Here's another sweet little string tie pocket for more tuck-ins. And then at the back, just a standard pocket with more cut aparts from the collection. So this is just such a 
I don't know, there's something so gratifying about digging into your stash like this and creating these little passport journals. I think it's my favorite thing that Eileen Hall makes is this little passport journal. I love the size. I love the ease of putting it together. Um, that's really it for me today. I hope I've shared some ideas and tricks and um, techniques that you can use in your own crafty adventures. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you along for the journey. And now I'm going to go get my craft done.